Hey guys, welcome to the 133rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you uh, basically how to create your own control. And the first control that we're going to be creating is just a simple button. So in order to create your own control, just go up to Project and then Add Windows Form. And then go down until you see User Control and just select that. Then just rename your user control to anything you want. I'm just going to call it my button because the first thing, like I said, that we're going to be creating is just a button. And then just go ahead and click add. And basically what this is right here is this is just another design window where you can design your control. So what we're going to be doing is painting it ourselves using C Sharp so that no matter what size the user makes the control, it still looks proportional. And also, basically, what this is right here is it's the size of the control, or the size of your control will be when a user drags it onto their form. So, if they were to go over to the toolbox and then like drag your control onto their form, then it would be this big when they do that. And that's just too big. We're going to make it about that size, because that's about the size of a button normally. Alright, so in order to draw it, we're just going to want to right click on here and click View Code. And this is all the code for um, our button. And as you can see, it inherits from the user control class. And in the user control class, there are a lot of useful methods like drawing the control and like setting a few properties and stuff like that. But we're going to want to override the uh, method to draw it so that we can um, draw it ourselves and have the, whatever colors or anything that we want on it. So we're just going to type out here override and then on paint is the method that we'll be overriding. And then in your IntelliSense right there it says on paint and then you can just click enter and it'll type everything out for you. And as you can see it's protected meaning that um, only people inheriting it will be able to see it. And obviously in the same class. Alright so what we're going to want to do here is just create a new solid brush to draw. So let's just say solid brush S equals a new solid brush. And the color that we're going to be using is um, we're going to be using it from a known color. So we're just going to say color dot from known color and then known color dot control. And control is just basically the default color for a control. And that's basically that color. It's like the color of a button. So control. And you can obviously have it be any color, like if you want to make it be red or something like that. But I'm just going to make it this color for right now. And now we're going to have to create graphics. So we're just going to say graphics g equals this dot create graphics. And this basically just refers to um, our control or our class that we're in right now. So my button. And now that we have our graphics created, we can draw um, a rectangle on our button right here, or on our control. So we're just going to say g dot fill rectangle. The brush that we're obviously going to be using is our own, so solid brush. And the position that we're going to want to start at is 0, 0, so that it fills the entire uh, control up. And then um, the width that we want it to be is the size of the control that it is. So we're just going to say this dot width. So it'll always fill the control no matter what size you have it. And same thing for height. We're going to do this dot height. All right. So now we can go back to our form right here. And in order to drag our control on here, we're just going to have to do a quick build. And then, as you can see, our button appears right there. We can just drag it onto our form. And since the back color of uh, form 1 is control, they just blender it together. So we're just going to change the back color of our form to something different so we can actually see our button in black. But yeah, there is our button right there. And now we debug. See, we have a button. But since we haven't done anything with it yet, it just looks like it's a panel or something. But in the next tutorial, we're going to be setting up like putting text on it and making our button look more like a button. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.